Hello everybody, my name is Pauline. I'm an artist from Ireland, as you can probably hear from my accent, and I want to show you how I use white watercolour paint in my watercolours. Now these are abstracts that I've created. Uh, they're actually part of my e-course on Monet's Pond in France, which is a place that I visit often, and I'm creating abstracts from that pond. And I am using white watercolour paint. I don't know about you, but I was always told you can't use it, but you can. So there I'm putting it on my watercolour brush and I am using it with quite a lot of water and I'm going to create lovely milky glazes on these abstracts with the watercolour paint. So you can see me picking up the paint again on the side here, loading my brush. It's really important that you load your brush with the paint and you're kind of quite decisive with a watercolour mark. As um, a, a wonderful watercolour artist said on a video I was watching of him, you don't noodle with the paint. You put it down and leave it. And of course, let the water do its magic because the water moves the paint around. It's supposed to. So I've just put the water, uh, the sorry, the white paint on a dish separately to my palette because I didn't want any other watercolours to mix in with it. I wanted to keep it pure white and it's titanium white that I'm using. And I'm sure the brand is Da Vinci, which you can certainly get in the US. Now I'm using the brush to start splattering this white paint all over the little six abstracts that I'm making here. This is what watercolour paint should do. You know, it needs to it needs you to be brave with it and to move it. And also, I should let you know that the, the boards that I'm working on, I've raised it slightly at the top um, with a, a thin book so that the, pay, the board is on a little bit of a slant. That means that the paint is moving more. And now I'm putting some of that white paint over a darker shape that I'd made. I also use black watercolour paint in my watercolours too. Um, I don't fuss about the rules. I want to be loose and free with my painting. So these little paintings have just been taped off and I'll be taking off the tape at the end and show, giving you a close up. Now here I'm using the hairdryer and I am moving the paint around with this. I'm actually, see those lovely lines I'm creating? I'm actually drawing with the hairdryer. This is such a fun thing to do. It's moving those lines around. Now I don't want to get it too spidery. Don't want to do too much of this, um, which is why I left a lot of this up to this, this stage. I wasn't doing it too much in the earlier stages of these little paintings. But it's such fun and of course because I have the volume down I'm doing a voice over here um, you don't have to hear the noise of the air dryer. But that's it now the paintings are finished and I am going to take the tape off and show you up close what each of them looks like because I think they look really really pretty and the, you'll see the beauty that these glazes add to, add to the watercolours and of course they give you a lovely contrast between the fresh saturated paint I've been using and now I'm using this milky glaze on top. And here we have the tape off. I'll always love that moment. And aren't these pretty? The milky glazes create a lovely sense of space and depth. And of course I'm looking at Monet's pond as, a, as my source for these abstractions. So I want that milky quality that you get in pond water. And I'm, I'm saying that here without painting a scene. I'm creating pictorial space in an abstract. I'm not trying to give you an, a horizon line and painting the whole pond. I want you to get the feeling of the pond. That's what I'm about in my abstract paintings. So I hope this little video will encourage you to use white paint in your watercolour paintings. You can dilute it down with water as I did here, or you can use a th thicker if you want. It's really entirely up to you. You're the person that creates the rules for yourself at the end of the day. And um, that's what I try and tell my students all the time. And I'm not trying to teach you per se here. I'm trying to inspire you. I want to get you excited about the things that you can do with paint. 
and this is my first video for my video channel but I'd like to think that you can come back for more inspiration and what I really would like my videos to do is to get you excited you know get you looking at my videos and saying gosh I really want to try that and then that you'll go away and try it so I'm not going to keep them too long you know, I'm going to keep them brief and um, I just hope that they are helpful to you and of course that you'll come back next week for more because I'm going to do them on a weekly basis.